Yo, 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 welcome back to the channel. So today, I'm gonna show you how to add some devices to your Insteon Hub. All right, hopefully you watched my last video on how to set up your hub. If not, link is up here. Make sure you check that one out. Once your hub is set up, the next step is to add some devices. So today I'm gonna to show you how to add a plug-in module, as well as a light switch and a thermostat. So that's gonna give you the most use out of your Insteon hub because you're gonna be able to control any lights that are hardwired in your house, like your ceiling lights with a switch. You are going to be able to control any lamps that you plug into the wall with a plug-in module. As well, you can get Insteon hardwired plugs too, which are pretty cool, especially if you're using them for a heavy load, like something like a pool pump or something similar to that. The last device that we're going to add to the Insteon hub is a thermostat. I will be doing some more videos in the future on how to use Insteon as a security system. So I'll show you how to program Insteon cameras, Insteon motion sensors, and Insteon door switches. So please make sure you hit that subscribe button below so you're notified when I upload those videos, as well as I'll be showing you how to connect your Insteon hub to both Alexa and Google Home. So you don't wanna miss out on these videos, so make sure you hit that subscribe button below. Okay, so the first device we're gonna to program today is the plug-in module. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is plug the module into the wall, make sure that your hub is powered up, and then you're going to press the connect button on the side of the hub. You can see here on your app that it searches for the device. Once the device is found, you're gonna to wanna to name that device, and then you can add that device into a room, which I'm just gonna show you a little bit later. Now that you've added your first device, a plug-in module, I'm gonna show you how to add a second device, which is a Insteon switch. These are great to control things like the lights on the front of your house or a chandelier in your dining room, that type of thing. So again, pretty simple here. We're gonna to go to settings, edit settings, click on devices, click on add a device. The list is gonna come up asking us what we would like to add. And we would like to add a wired in device. So very simply again, you press and hold the button. So once your device is found, you're going to see it's going to go through its communication tests. There are 10 of them in total. So it will go through each test individually. Once completed, will bring you to a screen that allows you to set up a whole bunch of options. Okay, so as you can see, once your device has been found, in our case, this was a light switch. So this was called device three. We're gonna rename this to kitchen light. Try to keep your names nice and simple because if you hook these up to Google Home or Alexa later, you want it to be as natural as possible. So you're probably going to ask Google to turn on the kitchen lights. You're not going to say, Google, turn on the kitchen pot lights or Google, turn on the kitchen light above the sink. So as nice as it is to write crazy descriptions here, you want to keep them as simple as possible. So in this case, this was an overhead light. We're just going to say kitchen light. Now, the next option you have is to change the icon. Since this is an overhead light, I will see if there's something that looks like an overhead light that kind of makes sense. Uh, we'll just use this one here. So that is our icon for kitchen light. Okay, so once your device has been connected, you're going to be led to your properties page. So you can see here, you can name your device, which we've done, we've named it our kitchen light. You can change the icon of your device, which we have also done. We've changed it to a picture of an overhead light. You can also add rooms. So you can see here, uh, which checked off under all devices. If you'd like to add a room, 
Pretty simple, you just go down to the settings at the bottom, add a room, which we'll do in a few minutes here. I'll show you how to do that. Your next is if there's any scenes, schedules, alerts, and then your local properties is what's gonna come up next here. So your on level, you want it to come on 100% or if you want it to come on at 50%, uh, we're gonna keep it at 100%. We want it to come on 100% when we press the on button. Uh, the ramp rate, how quick it comes, turns on. So you can see here, 0.1 seconds is instant, 0.5 seconds is fast, two seconds is medium, five seconds is slow. So we're just gonna put it at fast because you know we want it to turn on nice and quickly. In our home theater room or something like that, you might want the lights to ramp up slowly uh, to give it a neat kind of effect. So that's pretty much everything there. We're just gonna hit done. And we did wanna add another room here. So at the bottom, we're gonna click on settings, edit settings, going to click on rooms. The top corner here, we're gonna click on the plus sign and then we're gonna type kitchen. Click done. Okay, now we're going to add the kitchen light to kitchen and click save. Now the one thing I noticed is I don't like the icon of kitchen here, so we're just gonna change that. Click on settings, edit this, icon of kitchen, change it from a power cord, or sorry, a power button to, let's choose a frying pan, because that's, you know, that's what you do in the kitchen, you do cooking. Okay. So there you have it. Now when we go back to rooms, we have our kitchen with the frying pan. We have our dining room with the fork and knife. Okay, so I showed you how to add a plug-in module, a switch. The last device we're gonna add today is a thermostat. We have an Insteon thermostat, but you can also use a Nest thermostat as well. So today we're gonna show you how to do Insteon. Very, very simple process. Here we go. Okay, so the next device that we want to add to our smart home arsenal is a thermostat. So we have the Insteon thermostat here and we're going to add it to the Insteon app which will give us control from any of the tablets or smart homes within the house as well as from our smart assistant devices, either Google or Alexa. So great control to have over your thermostat, being able to adjust the heat or air conditioning from anywhere in the house is pretty cool. So here we go, let's get started. Open up your Insteon app, hit the rooms button, and then hit all devices. Once you're on all devices, you wanna hit the add button in the top corner and it's gonna ask you what type of device. In our case, we're going to add a thermostat. Okay, so you can see here that you have the option of either an Insteon thermostat or probably the more popular Nest thermostat. We actually have Insteon, so we're gonna do that here. Click on Insteon thermostat, and we're going to press and hold the set button until it beeps. So opening this up here, have a look inside. This is our set button, we're gonna press it. There's the beep, now we're gonna hit next. Now you can see the device is found, so it's now programming the device to the hub. Pretty simple procedure when it works this way. Okay, so it's now going through the communication tests. We can close this up, and we now have the ability to control our thermostat through the Insteon app. So you can see now at the bottom of the app, it actually shows us our temperature here now. So there it is here, we can fully adjust it. We can see that our temperature is set to heat and 22 degrees. So there you have it. That's how you program an Insteon thermostat to your Insteon hub. Okay, so I hope you learned something from today's video and you're able to get your plug-in module or your light switch working with your Insteon hub. Thank you very much for watching today. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, and until next time, take it easy out there. Hey everybody, thanks for watching today. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I hope your day was full of awesomeness.